terrorist attacks. The and the high profile nature of the appeals to organizations looks successful can make their cause. Tubular assaults provide very little cover and minimal escape rounds. The FBI SWAT operator Ash will be deployed for this situation. Her breaching rounds enable you to aggressively seize and control lines of fire. Hello everybody and welcome to episode 4 of Tom Clancy's Rainbow Six Siege, situations number 4, tubular assault. Today we do have to assault, uh, assault this aircraft in uh, assault this aircraft in uh, London Heathrow, I believe is where this is supposed to be located. And you will notice, I'm just going to say ahead of time, that I did not have the greatest health leaving this mission. I did complete the mission, which is why I put it in the video, but it was not done perfectly because I made a few, uh, a few stupid mistakes. However, I do think this is by far the best guy I could find, so that's why I opted not to redo it. It's not just because I had other things I had to do that demanded my time, so I couldn't really uh, do another run, but also because I, uh, also because I really think this is the best thing to do, and I'll just tell you where I went wrong and what you can do to fix it. Right there, you will see what you want, what you want to smoke, but what you want to do is you want to smoke in the middle of the alley right there, otherwise that guy will catch you. And then you want to go ahead and you want to, uh, you want to lean over to the right side, not just to make you kill, uh, not just to make it easier for you to kill these two guys, but they also get one star in just this first room. By shooting them both while you're leaning, you don't have to lean around cover, you just have to lean. Now right here, you're going to wait for a second while Tweedledee and Tweedledum come. The reason why we put that Joan in the back, um, back behind us, which I was talking over and, you know, I didn't mention at the time, but back, uh, back in the lag, you have about a 50-50 uh, chance of these two coming out, there's Tweedledee, and Tweedledum will be coming in a second. And the other alternative will be someone coming up from that uh, from the ladder. But I found when you put the drone down by the ladder, that actually makes the guy not never come up that ladder. So it's a hundred percent chance that they will come this way. So predictability is amazing that way. But like I said, here comes the wheel dumb. All right, all right, yeah, let's wheel dumb. Twiddly wheel dumb down right there. Now we're just gonna go ahead and we backtrack right here. We're going to pick up our drone, I believe, just because we can. There's no real reason. It's uh, it's sort of its usefulness in case we actually need the drone for some un you know unknown uh, circumstances or unforeseen circumstances. So that was quite easy. We got ourselves down to seven very easily just by doing that. Uh, low risk, uh, high reward, right there. Now you want to go up into the where really you, uh, all the electronics would be in the aircraft. But you want to go up into the ceiling for want of a better word because I don't remember what exactly it's called. And you're just going to go ahead and walk calmly because you don't want to get uh, jumped by anyone coming from that ladder on the left right there. Which, I don't know if it will happen, but I'd just rather be safe than sorry. You, you probably could get away with the running because I don't think anyone will show up, but just you want to make sure. Now right here, what you want to do is you want to go ahead and go prone right there. Or you can crouch uh, further out, but if you want to get up closer like to the top of that ramp, you want to make sure to go prone. Look at that guy's knee. Try to focus on his knee. You see, in this, uh, this is actually one of the things I did that was a mistake. In this playthrough, I did not take him out. I guess my aim was just a little bit too off. But you'll see he presents himself and he can shoot him. It's no big deal. Depending on how long it takes for you to get there, there will be a guy who will come up the stairs we're about to pass, which will be directly behind us. Turn the corner and come and assault you. Or come and shoot you. Those stairs right there. So you want to check just to make sure. But m most of the time, if you do it at the same pace I was doing it, he won't come. And that's where this next part comes into. Uh, I comes in where I lost a good chunk of health. I didn't need to. He's directly under this uh, door right here. You could breach it. I would suggest breaching it if you're going to be doing the. Uh, if you're going to want to get the star by breaching that uh, that one as well. Obviously, you breach the door first, and then you can breach whatever other surface you want to. But my mistake here was I didn't aim all the way down. You see, I got pinned right there. So make sure if you're going to do that, aim directly 90 degrees straight into the ground. Now I didn't shoot at that guy to kill him, I shot at him to provoke him to come up. So again, it's just a waiting game, it's an ambush game, this entire playing game is an ambush game. Or this entire uh, mission, you're basically just waiting to ambush people, but it's all about predictability and ambushing. So that's where we got a good chunk of health taken out, and you'll see a few more mistakes coming up soon. And my video is just better, sorry about that everyone. Go ahead and peg him in the head like that, not really a problem if you do that. Then you want to go ahead and you want to look carefully through the kitchen area. 
There shouldn't be anyone there, but you just want to make absolutely sure because there's always a semi some randomness in this game. There's probably people downstairs, but I never checked because you don't need to with this tactic. Now this part, you're likely to get pegged no matter how you throw that grenade. So you want to make sure to throw that grenade and then just get ready and sprint if you can. Like right there, I got lucky, but I would I would recommend a sprint just to minimize your uh, minimize your um, chances of getting hit. And right here, you just you see that's where the guy was, and that's where our mistake was. We didn't shoot all the way down; we just shot the first layer and hit the beam, and we called it good. And that is what you want to avoid. Like I said, just shoot directly down if you're going to use that tactic. Now we want to, we want to tag these two guys. There's going to be two in the conference room. There's one right there at the head of the table, as you can see. Make sure to tag him. There's one directly on the wall, like uh, right on the wall uh, over there. Usually, you're holding the shotgun. There we go, we have those two tagged. Now, one of these guys is super easy to get, the other guy who requires a little bit of luck. We're just gonna put it right there to make sure we can see them. It's fine. Now, my mistake here was I tried to hit this guy. Another mistake, don't do that. Make sure not to shoot right there because there is a beam and a, a few uh, pieces few of furniture back there. What you wanna do here is you just wanna aim a little more to the right. I wasted a lot of bullets because I wasn't aiming far enough right. You have one last uh, smoke grenade and you do plan to use that grenade. Right here you want to probably use that uh, drone to line up the shot like what I did in the uh, embassy mission. Rather than do what I'm doing right here. That was another one of my mistakes. First I didn't place the smoke right. And secondly I didn't I didn't place my shot. That cost me a little more. I'm at 58, uh, 56 now. Those two minor mistakes that I made cost me big. And you'll see I'm just 6 above the, uh, the minimum part to get the 3rd star. So just go ahead and adjust for those. Now you want to lean around this edge right here. And again, game of ambush. Hit that guy. 1, 2. And then three is gonna take a sweet time, but just rest, uh, rest comfortable knowing that you actually are down to the last guy, and he has to come through this way because there's no other way that this guy will come through. So you, as you'll see, we're just waiting for him. Stay focused. Obviously, it's easy to kind of daydream while you're waiting for this guy. But just eliminated. conjure up enough focus to remember to hit him. There you go, peg him in the head, and that will be the end of that. Very easy mission, actually. There's the achievement. You'll see it was the first time I did. So that was a that's a very easy uh, very easy achievement, very easy mission, so long as you do everything. Just right, and I hope you all enjoyed. See you all next time. Thank you for watching.